Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. Um, and in this video, I'm actually going to be doing more T-Mobile 5G home internet speed tests. Um, it's actually 11.06 p.m. on a Friday night. Um, I actually didn't go into work today because I've still been, you know, not feeling well. Um, I've been feeling under the weather, you know, at least for today. Um, so I was able to push out some more speed tests today than normal. Um, so I just figured that I would do some tonight, you know, around 11, you know, around 11 o'clock p.m. on a Friday, um, you know, when a lot of people are still probably up, you know, adults and stuff, you know, um, especially, you know, probably not so much kids, but, you know, younger kids especially, but, um, you know, everybody's off school and everything, you know, they're, you know, getting ready for the weekend and everything, um, so I figured I'd do some, uh, you know, speed tests this time of night and see what we get. Um, also, like I say in my other videos, you know, I, I am using third-party equipment for the T-Mobile 5G home internet. Um, I'm using a Chester Cheetah, uh, version 2, uh, gateway slash modem, whatever you want to call it, um, with band locking and stuff available. Um, and I'm also using a, uh, waveform 4x4 antenna connected to that, so just keep that in mind. Um, so I am going to actually try tomorrow to do more speed tests in the morning. Um, I'm probably going to get up around like 8 or 9 or maybe even 10, um, and see what speeds we get, you know, in the morning, um, you know, uh, compared to other times of the day, because I've been doing, um, most of them, you know, in the evening or, you know, around, uh, dinner time. Um, but I want to actually see what we get in the morning. So let's actually get into this video, um, like I said, it is 11, you know, o'clock at night, 11.08 p.m. Um, on a Friday, so there might not, you know, be that many people on um, right now. You know, there could be, but, you know, I'm not really so sure. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a Friday, so, you know, there's probably not that many people going to bed, you know, this early yet, um, since they don't have work tomorrow or Sunday. So, um, and tomorrow is actually supposed to be rainy, too, so that would actually be a good day for testing. Um, and then uh, maybe Sunday... Um, I also might get up earlier and do some tests, you know, to see, because it's not actually supposed to rain on Sunday. Um, so I might actually do that, you know, on Sunday, um, you know, as well, just to see what we get, um, you know, compared to it being a rainy day tomorrow. Um, so let's actually uh, get into this video. I'll make sure I'm on the right server here. Um, and I am. I'm going to do some tests on the West Norton PA server, um, and then I'll do some on the uh, Ashburn VA server. So still getting over 500 even this time of night, so that's definitely a good sign. The ping is still a little high, though. It seems like the ping is, uh, you know, still a little bit high. I don't know why. Like I said, I think, uh, you know, quite a few people have been saying that they've been having high ping recently, so I don't know really what's going on with that. Um, so on the download, not bad at all, 550, I mean 540 for the download, uh, 15.1 for the upload, and 39 ping. So see, yeah, the ping did go up on this one. And the download went down on that one, so I'm not, you know, real happy with that. But, you know, like I said, you know, there are people, there are people you know, home this time of night. Um, you know, there's not, you know, really much you can do about it. You know, if you get slower speeds, I mean, um, you know, it's a cellular connection, so you're not always going to get, um, you know, fast, fast speeds, you know. So there's not, you know, really much you can do about it. Um, so not bad on that one though, 442 for the download, 8.81 for the upload, um, the ping was a little bit higher on that one at 43, but, um, I, I believe that it seems like they're still messing with the towers or something, because it's still, um, you know, somewhat inconsistent with the speeds, it's still, you know, sometimes inconsistent, um, so I don't know, you know, if they're messing with the towers still, um, doing the monitorization or what, um, 
but uh you know i i've heard from people on reddit and i've you know i uh i made a video you know not long ago a few days ago um about uh down detectors saying t-mobile was having problems um and they were actually in the red for a couple of days with the uh down detector and then they moved the yellow um and then they moved to uh you know off of the yellow they moved to the um like bluish color i can actually show you guys let me actually open up the down detector app here and so yeah it's actually showing a lot in the red though so that's definitely not a good sign um you know on the map there it's showing you know a lot of places in red so that's definitely not good um it wasn't it wasn't like that actually yesterday it was you know pretty much getting back to normal um and it says uh mobile phone 36 percent now it's actually saying 5g home internet 33 33 percent you know are having problems so i i think that it could be because they're doing the tower modernization um let me see down here. It doesn't actually say anything. Um, not anything about the, uh, you know, T-Mobile 5G home internet anyway. Um, but it doesn't say anything, you know, it doesn't say any indications of problems at T-Mobile. But um, like I said, you know, all this red is definitely not good because I can actually show you guys. Um, let me bring up Verizon here. So as you can see with Verizon, you know, there's not as much red around, you know, at, at all. Um, you know, this is a little uh, bit over there, but there's not very much. Um, let me type in AT&T. See what that gives us. So yeah, AT&T is having some problems as well. Um, you know, they have more red than Verizon does. Let me type in uh, Metro by T-Mobile. So yeah, Metro doesn't even have as much uh, problems with the, with the, um, you know, the red. I mean, they have, you know, like blips of it, but not, you know, close to me really. Um, so, you know, that's definitely not a good sign that that uh, T-Mobile is still, um, you know, in the red here. It's definitely not, you know, good because it's, yeah, as you can see, you know, that's got a lot of red right there, um, and that's, you know, that's definitely not good. Um, so it could be, you know, like I said, because they're still working on the towers, it could be because of the tower modernization, um, that they're doing, you know, so we might experience and, you know, we might experience slower speeds until they actually get that done with, um, you know, that's, that's just the life of, you know, using cellular internet, you know, it's not always going to be perfect. Um, I've, I've talked about it on my channel, you know, weather can affect it. Um, you know, all kinds of things can affect it. So you, you, you gotta basically, you know, pick your poison, you know, what you can get in your area is what you can get. Um, like I've said, you know, our two choices, our two best choices, um, are either T-Mobile 5G home internet, which is what we have, um, or Comcast slash Xfinity, um, whatever you want to call them, you know, so, um, you know, that's, that's kind of, <coughs> excuse me, that's kind of like, you know, basically, uh, pick more, you know, pick one that's more expensive that's going to give you hidden fees um, and stuff like that, or pick one um, to where you might actually get slower speed sometimes, um, you know, depending on the tower and the network and stuff, um, or the weather and stuff, you know. But, um, you know, I haven't had a problem with T-Mobile 5G home internet, you know, ever, ever since I gotten it, um, ever since we've gotten it, you know, we haven't had any major, um, you know, problems. I've had... You know, I've had speed, you know, slow sometimes, but not actually to the point of actually being, you know, like unusable, like zero or one um, or something like that, you know, for the download or something, unless the tower is actually down. Um, but, you know, we haven't had that kind of problem, you know, to the point where it's actually been, um, you know, like completely offline, um, which is really good because we only have one tower near us. Um, you know, like I said, that's close to us. I actually have another video um, on my channel talking about that, showing you guys, you know, an approximate place where it's at. Um, if you want to check that video out, it's on my channel. Um, I show you guys an app. Um, it's called uh, Cell Mapper, I believe. Um, yeah, that's what it was called, Cell Mapper. Um, 
a really good app though but it hasn't really been updated in like a year or so i hope that they actually update that soon um but you know um other than that you know it's been fine for me and my mom you know and occasionally my sister and her boyfriend and my niece um you know and stuff like that i have a video on my channel talking more about it you know the pros and the cons about it um but like i said you know somebody actually commented on one of my videos not long ago um, I put a video out about a day or so ago, I think it was yesterday, um, somebody was actually saying, um, oh, you should get fiber, you shouldn't, you know, deal with that, you shouldn't, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't pay for cellular internet, you know, that's just a waste, and I said, well, uh, so that's, that's our only option, you know, our only cheaper option, um, you know, my mom, you know, she doesn't do much on the internet except for, you know, Facebook, um, Amazon, you know, stuff like that, she's not really a streamer or anything, um, you know, occasionally she'll watch some TV or something if I'm watching it, or my sister, um, or something is watching it when she's over, but, um, you know, we don't, we don't really use it for anything crazy, so, you know, it's good enough for us, um, so anyway, back to the video here, 442 for the download, definitely not bad at all, still, uh, 8.81 8, uh, 8 for the upload, not too bad, um, like I've said, you know, as long as you get over 3, you're fine, um, 43 for the ping, so the ping was a little bit high, but, you know, it is what it is. And it does still seem like the upload speed is kind of, you know, suffering a little bit. The download speed is hanging pretty steady, but, you know, the upload speed seems to be actually slower than I'm used to. Um, and the ping is definitely higher than I'm used to. I'm, I'm, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to actually reboot the gateway um, after I'm done this video. I'm going to reboot it. Um, and then uh, tomorrow I'm going to do some further testing. I'm going to probably get up like around 8 or 9 um, or maybe around 10 or 11 or so um, before the afternoon, you know, try to. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, like I said, so I'm going to see what we get. Um, I'm going to reboot it after this video and see if it gives me better ping and stuff. Um, and then I'll, you know, do a, a video, you know, tomorrow morning. I'll try to get up earlier um, and do a video for you guys so you can see, you know, what we get in the morning, um, you know, on a rainy day. So I'll, you know, try to do that. Um, so definitely not bad on this one. 550 for the download, uh, 6.58 for the upload. Not too bad, but also not too great. Um, and then ping 41. Let me actually uh, switch over to the Ashburn VA server. Do some tests on that. <laughs> Not too bad on that one. I mean, below 500, but, you know still really good for this time of night, you know, 11, 19 p.m. on a Friday night, um, you know, definitely, you know, not bad at all, so 477 on that one, uh, for the download, 30.3 on the upload, and 40 ping, um, so it does still seem to be, like I said, it does still seem to be giving somewhat problems, um, because I was getting like 500 to 600 consistently earlier, um, and now I'm, you know, getting like 477, 480, um, you know, that one I believe was like 450 or something, which is, you know, still usable speed, still very usable, um, you know, nothing to be concerned about, but, um, it, it has been, um, windy recently too, and I actually didn't reboot the gateway to refresh it or anything, um, so, you know, that could also be a problem that I'm ha experiencing, you know, that, that could also be, you know, one reason why the ping is higher as well, um, because it's, you know, it was, it was windy for those couple of days, um, and, you know, I've said that on my channel, too, I have a video talking about that on my channel, um, about after, you know, bad weather to reboot the gateway, um, but I, I didn't actually want to do that, you know, because I wanted to do the videos, I wanted to see what I would actually get, um, and I'm still, you know, getting decent speeds, you know, I'm definitely getting decent speeds, 
um, even without rebooting it, you know, uh, after those windy days that we had. So that's actually really good. Um, so definitely not bad on this one. 477 for the download, uh, 30.3 on the upload, and 40 ping. You know, I hope that the ping does go down. Um, like I said, people on Reddit have also been complaining about that, so I'm not the only one. Um, but like I have said, you know, in my other videos, you know, I'm not trying to use any excuses here or anything. Um, but I do have cameras running 24-7. I have one hooked up to Ethernet, um, which is actually in my garage, which is actually connected to a, uh, um, uh, Google Nest Wi-Fi, um, a Google Wi-Fi, um, yeah, a Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro 6E node, um, which is actually in the garage, and that's connected, um, via Ethernet to the camera, um, which actually supports, you know, it, it supports, uh, Google Assistant, which is really nice. It's actually a, uh, I'm trying to think, I made a video on it. Um, it's actually, it's made by, um, oh, I'm trying to think of the name, I'm trying to think of the name of it, uh, two, two, uh, two P, two pay or something it's called. Um, it's made by, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Um, I actually have, uh, let me see here. Oh, it's actually called, uh, yeah, I actually have the name here. It's actually called Tapu. Um, it's actually made by, um, uh, TP Link. That's actually who I was thinking of. It's actually, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually made by TP Link. That's who I was actually thinking of because I have a lot of their, uh, their network switches and they're really good. Um, I also have a Netgear, uh, network switch too, but, um, most of the time I buy, uh, TP Link for my, uh, for my stuff. Um, and it's, it's been really good. You know, I, I highly recommend it. You know, it works with Google Home, um, or Google Assistant. It works with, uh, Alexa. Um, so it's really good. You know, me and my mom can pull it up on our phones. Um, she's more of an Alexa person. I'm more of a Google Home person or Google Assistant, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend it. You know, I definitely recommend checking them out. Um, I got them on Amazon. I got them for both, uh, I got the one, uh, for only like $40, $30 or something on Black Friday, um, a while ago, a while back. Um, and then I got the other one, um, I got the other one, I believe on Cyber Monday because I wanted to get another one. Um, or I believe they were having a sale or something and I got it for like 40 or $45, um, originally they're only like 50 or $60, so that's definitely not bad at all. Um, so that's, you know, that's basically that, you know, I, I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, because we, we constantly have them streaming, um, you know, the one is hardwired, but the other one is Wi-Fi, the other one's like out front, um, and I didn't want to buy another Google, um, Nest Wi-Fi node just to have it hardwired, so I just, you know, um, you know, that's, that one's like further out front. Um, of the house, so I, you know, have that one pointing toward our mailbox and stuff, um, and, you know, like, kind of near, near the step, you know, so when people drop off packages, um, you know, we can see, uh, you know, that kind of stuff and see when people are pulling in the driveway or pulling out, um, you know, stuff like that, you know, we can keep an eye on the road and stuff, um, you know, see if anybody, you know, sits out far, front and side of the house, or, you know, by the house or whatever, so, um, so anyway, that's basically that, you know, uh, I just wanted to talk about that, you know, to let you guys know, um, you know, that that could also affect the speeds, which is true, um, you know, because they're constantly streaming, and I also have Google Nest Hubs, um, I have one downstairs, and I have one upstairs in my bedroom, um, so that's, you know, constantly using the Wi-Fi, and my mom, um, you know, she's downstairs right now, either on her computer um, or, you know, or tablet or phone, so that's gonna, you know, that kind of stuff is gonna eat up the, you know, the bandwidth, so you have to keep that in mind, um, you know, that's not always gonna be, you know, uh, hunky-dory, as they say, you know, it's not gonna always be, you know, the fastest, um, you know, especially on a Friday night and stuff, so you gotta keep that in mind as well, um, you know, even with band locking, there's not really anything you can do, um, you know, to get over if, if the tower is being used a lot and stuff, so, um, you know, there's not really anything you can do about that. Um, that's why I kind of said, you know, you got to kind of pick your poison in your area. Um, you got to see if it can work for you, um, you know, or not, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, specific times of days and stuff like that, you know, bad weather, um, you know, stuff like that. So it definitely depends on your area. Um, like I've said, it's very area specific. Um, so on this one, like I said, not bad, 477 for the download. Uh, 30.3 on the upload and 40 ping. 
really hoping that that ping uh, comes down though. Almost broke 500 on that one. I'm not really worried about it though. Like I said, still really good for this time of night. 498 on the uh, download. And also, uh, like I said, it is supposed to be raining tomorrow, so the rain, uh, the the rain could also be moving in now, you know, because it's getting, uh, you know, as it gets later, you know, it's gonna, um, you know, move in, you know, eventually. I don't know what time the rain is actually supposed to start tonight, but it's supposed to start um, on Saturday at some time. Um, so that could also be a problem, you know, if the rain is coming in, um, you know, and we're getting, you know, the bad weather further away right now, um, you know, that can also affect the towers and stuff, so you have to keep that in mind, um, you know, that, it, you know, it can affect, you know, it, it can affect it, you know, it can just affect it, um, you know, weather is definitely going to affect it, you know, even if it's not started yet, you know, even if the rain, um, you know, hasn't even got here yet, um, you know, to this area, so you got to keep that in mind as well. Um, you know, that could be affecting the, the network or something somewhere else. Um, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, so definitely not bad on that one. 498 for the download, basically 500, uh, 32 even on the upload, uh, 43 ping. I'll run one more on this one and then I'll, uh, go back to the West Norton PA server. Looks like it's going back up, so that's definitely a good sign. It's not really windy out there. I just looked out the window. It's not really uh, windy out. So it's, uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be rainy and windy tomorrow or not. I think it's just supposed to be rainy, my mom told me. Um, it's supposed to be pretty uh, messy out tomorrow. So um, so 564 on the download on that one. Definitely not bad at all. 32.2 uh, on the uh, upload and 37 ping. So the ping did go down a little bit. I'll go back to the uh, West Norton PA server, see what we get with this. So the ping actually did go up on this one. Still not bad for the download speed though, still getting over 500. So that's good. And like I've said, you know, you guys, you know, your area is going to be, uh, you know, different than mine. I just like to get these videos out there and show you guys, you know, the average speeds that we get. Um, and, and like I've said, I haven't even scratched the surface with the, with the band locking on the, uh, you know, the Chester Cheetah version 2. And I haven't actually checked for updates um, for that in a while, so I'm actually going to probably do that tonight or tomorrow. Um, I'm going to, you know, check and see if there's an update available for it, because it is important, um, you know, to keep your gateways and stuff up to date, so I'm definitely going to check that out um, and see, you know, if there's a manual update that I can flash to it. Um, so not bad on that one, 540 for the download, 13.9, uh, we'll say 14 on the upload, uh, ping 45, but, you know, it's been going up and down. Um, I don't really know what's going on with the ping. Like I said, people have been saying that, you know, they've been saying that the ping has been, you know, really acting up. So, I'm hoping, you know, that T-Mobile, uh, gets their, uh, gets their stuff together would be a nice word to say. And like I showed you guys in this video, it's not saying that there's any indication um, of problems at T-Mobile, but I showed you guys, um, you know, a minute ago or not, you know, too long ago in this video, um, I showed you guys with T-Mobile, um, it's still in the red here, um, and it's still saying, uh, you know, for mobile phone, 36%, uh, 33% for uh, 5G home internet, so that's kind of... Um, you know, it's kind of, as you can see, you know, it's kind of wavy here. Um, so that's kind of meaning, you know, it's kind of, you know, still not, um, really balanced. I can actually show you guys the Verizon one again. I 
I don't know why it doesn't want to search sometimes. They really need to update this app because it hasn't been updated in a while. Um, so as you can see here, you know, this is more of a straight line. I mean, it's got a little bit of squiggles in there, um, but not compared to the T-Mobile um, one. And, the, and the, this one only says uh, 5G home internet, 26%. Um, so that's definitely not bad at all compared to the T-Mobile one. Go back here. And as you can see, you know, that's more of a squiggly line um, than anything. Um, and that's saying 33% for the 5G home internet and uh, mobile phone, 36%. Um, and I was actually still having problems sending text messages today. Um, I've, I've noticed that, and I've actually had dropped calls as well. Um, I tried to call a friend of mine um, and tell him that I wasn't actually going to be going into work today. Um, you know, just to tell him, you know, if he wanted to hang out or something today, you know, or um, something like that, you know, after I, uh, you know, if I, if I feel better, you know, I, I did actually feel up to it. I actually went out to lunch, um, earlier, but, um, you know, uh, so I, I have been experiencing problems, you know, when I tried to call him, it actually hung up, um, and that's not normal. It doesn't normally do that, um, and, you know, I tried to text him, and it didn't want to go through, um, and I wasn't actually getting his text back either. He told me, he texted me back, and I said I never got it, um, so, Something, something still seems to be going on with the T-Mobile network or something. Um, so I definitely hope that they fix it soon. Um, so on this one, not bad at all. 550 for the download, uh, 7.51 for the upload. Not too bad, but also not too great. And then uh, 40 ping. Run like two more here. And like I've said, you know, the ping also could be spiking because of the, uh, you know, the bad weather that we're actually going to be getting. That could also be another thing. But I've also noticed that the upload speeds are not on par, you know, not on pair with what I've actually be get, been getting, um, you know, what we actually normally get. So I've noticed the ping is higher and I've noticed that the upload speed has been, you know, not really that great. Um, compared to what we normally get. Um, so on this one, not bad at all for the download, 609 for the download. The upload is, you know, okay, you know, fair, I guess, uh, 9.70. Um, and the uh, ping, 45. Run one more here. still seems to be hanging a little bit, you know, like when I, when I go to press a speed test, you know, when... When I go to, you know, uh, do the speed test, it seems to, you know, hang a little while. It seems to, like, take a minute to, you know, get started. So that, that kind of makes me feel like it's still, um, you know, kind of messing up. Not only that, you know, like I said, anything could be, you know, causing this. It could be, you know, um, you know, tower congestion, you know, this time of night, 11.34 p.m. on a Friday night, um... You know, it could be, um, you know, like I said, the weather, um, you know, the weather coming, you know, it could be the weather, um, you know, that's not, you know, hit our area yet, you know, but it's actually somewhere else, um, you know, right now, you know, with the network, you know, it could do anything like that, um, you know, it could mess the network up or something somewhere else, um, you know, with the rain and stuff, um, you know, it, it could also very well be because we had windy days and I didn't restart the gateway, um, you know, to refresh the signal and everything. And I have noticed that um, before, if I don't restart it, that I do get higher ping. Um, so, um, and on top of that, it could also be that T-Mobile is still doing modernization on the towers um, around here or stuff like that. You know, like I said, um, you know, they told me they were doing that on the tower near me. Um, so that could still be going on, you know, because I said, um, like I showed you guys in this video, you know, down detector is still... Um, you know, indicating, you know, it's not actually saying it's indicating problems. Um, it's not in the red or yellow, which is, you know, basically unusable, um, you know, if it's in the red or yellow. Um, but, you know, it's still, um, you know, saying like 30-some percent for the T-Mobile 5G home internet um, and, you know, like 30-some percent for the uh, mobile phone, um, which is actually true. Like I said, I've been having problems sending text messages, um, and I've also had problems with calls um, as well, you know, dropping and stuff when I try to call somebody. 
Um, you know, like I said, I tried to call my friend today, um, and, and the call, you know, just dropped. I, I, you know, it started dialing and then it just dropped. It just said, you know, end call. Um, so I was like, okay, um, let's try this again. So I tried it again and it did the same thing. Um, and I actually had to go outside. I actually had to go outside and, uh, I turned on airplane mode. Um, and then it started working, you know, and it was still, it, it was still acting really weird. Like it was like breaking up, um, and stuff. And my friend could, was saying, you know, he could hardly hear me. Um, so I, you know, I, I definitely think that something's going on with the network or the tower near me. Um, you know, they could still be doing the, you know, modernization, like I said. Um, and if, and if that's the case, you know, there could be certain bands down, um, or something on the tower or something, or either they're, they're, you know, just, you know, fixing it up or something, or actually, you know, they could, they could even, you know, physically be replacing stuff on it, um, you know, to make it better too, you know, they might not just be doing updates on it, um, you know, they could actually be physically, you know, replacing stuff on it, you know, making it better, um, so if that's the case, you know, you're obviously, um, most likely gonna, you know, notice reduced speeds and stuff, um, especially if they have certain bands or something shut down, um, you know, for maintenance or something like that, so that's very possible, um, so, you know, you gotta keep that stuff in mind, um, and not only that, like I said, you know, with the cameras that I have always running and the stuff that I have on Wi-Fi always running, um, you know, my mom using the internet and stuff, you know, you have to keep that in mind as well, um, and, you know, you have to keep in mind the time of day as well, so, um, there's a lot of stuff, like I said, that, that falls into consideration, um, you know, before actually choosing the service, you know, you definitely have to, um, you know, weigh your options out, you know, like I said, for us, um, you know, this is the best option for us, you know, because over Comcast or Xfinity, um, and definitely over satellite internet, because satellite internet is just, you know, I, I've heard stories about it, and it's just not, you know, not, not good at all, I've, I've heard, you know, some bad things about it, so, um, I definitely rather have this for, you know, only like 40 or 50 dollars a month compared to Comcast, um, you know, like 300 to 400 dollars or more, um, just for internet and, you know, maybe one home phone line, um, which is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion, um, so anyway, on this one, uh, not bad at all, 581 for the download, uh, 7.48 for the upload, and 41 ping. I'll run one more here just for the heck of it. So the ping actually did go down on this one. Wow, I actually broke 500 on that one. Didn't seem like it was going to for a minute there. That's what I mean. It does still seem like it's, uh, you know, really acting weird, though. Because now it's actually giving me 31 ping. So it's still, uh, you know, it still seems like it's, like, fluctuating somewhat. So on that one, definitely not bad, though. 515 for the download. It didn't really look like we were going to get over 500 there for a minute. Um, and then, uh, 9.8 on the upload, not too bad for that. Um, like I've said in my other videos, you know, the upload speeds around here suck. There's not really much I can do about it. Um, and then the, uh, ping only 31, so definitely not bad for the ping on that one. Um, that's actually the lowest ping we got on this one, you know, that definitely isn't bad. Um, that's, that's normally what we average, you know, like around 35 or 30 ping, um, so that's normally what we average, that's why I still think something's going on, um, you know, with the network or something, you know, especially since people, um, on Reddit have been complaining about the ping spikes and stuff, so, um, you know, like I said, I'm glad that I'm not the only one, um, you know, that seems to be affected by these ping spikes and stuff, um, but anyway, yeah, guys, I'm gonna get off of here, I'm gonna, uh, you know, go relax, you know, tonight and, uh, probably watch something on TV, um, you know, and just relax, and I'm going to probably get up earlier tomorrow, um, in the morning and do some speed tests in the morning, um, you know, probably around, like, 9 or 10, um, I don't really want to get up, you know, too early on a Saturday, um, you know, I like to sleep in somewhat, you know, on a Saturday, um, but anyway, yeah, I'll do that, I'll, you know, get a video out, um, you know, in the morning sometime tomorrow, um, you know, like I said, it is supposed to rain tomorrow, um, so that would actually be a really good day, um, you know, to do some speed tests in the morning to see what we get, 
um, you know, with bad weather. Um, and then on Sunday, you know, I also might get up earlier um, and do some speed tests in the morning on a Sunday. You know, that's actually supposed to be partly cloudy. Um, it's not supposed to rain on Sunday. And also, um, I am going to reboot the gateway after this video. Um, I'm going to reboot it. You know, that'll give it a couple of hours, um, you know, to refresh and stuff. And I'll see what I get, um, you know, tomorrow morning. I'll do some speed tests, um, you know, tomorrow and see what I get. Um, after I get up and, you know, get some, uh, green tea in me and stuff, um, and I'll probably get up, you know, like around 8 or so, um, and then shoot a video out, you know, like around 9 or 10, um, and see what we get, you know, with the speeds in the morning with a rainy day tomorrow, so, um, but anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, um, I just wanted to get this video out there, and if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and until next time, guys.